Hey guys, welcome back to the shop here. This chainsaw came in the other day. Customer says it's hard to start and it doesn't want to idle properly and it bogs. So it sounds like it's a lot of problems. First of all, uh, what I'm going to do is try to start it and we'll go through the diagnostic process here. Uh, but actually the first thing you should do when a saw comes in your shop that's not running is check the fuel tank to see what kind of fuel is in there. And also what you can do right away is pull the cord to see how it feels. So there is some compression here, but it does feel a little bit funny. So that's why I'm going to check the fuel just to see if it's mixed or not. This saves you a lot of diagnostic time. And that fuel looks mixed. I'll actually pull out a sample to show you. So a turkey baster works good for that. And we can see it's nicely mixed. Nothing wrong with this fuel. Okay, what I'll do here is start it up and show you exactly what it's doing. So now I gotta put the choke back on and repeat the process. See, when you throttle down, it just does not want to stay idling properly. So some people might think here, you know what, just turn up the idle screw and that should fix the problem. That makes sense. But you know what, guys, when I pull it over, as I said earlier, something feels different. It doesn't feel right. So if you're trying to fix stuff for people and you're trying to make money, guys, in, a, in some good time, the first thing you should do is pull the muffler off. So on the MS-291, you got to pop off these two little clips here before getting at the muffler bolts. So it's easy to do with a pick like this. And you'll need a T27 Torx. And I'll actually take the cover off as well. And again, just as I suspected here, it's all scored up. Look at that piston in there. And look at it move up and down. It's totally scored from top to bottom. Man, that's really scored up. It almost looks like a piece has kind of broken off the top of the piston there. right here see that anyway that's kind of what I suspected because when I pulled it over it felt funny and again some of the symptoms when you have a scored piston cylinder and rings is that it won't idle properly it's harder to start it's got less power so even if it runs guys make sure to take that muffler off because you could be pumping in a lot of parts in there that you don't actually need and wasting your valuable shop time now some of you guys watching here may be wondering why is it all scored up if the fuel in the gas tank was good well it could be because it may have been ran with a dull chain so if you have a chainsaw and you're trying to cut wood with it and the chain is dull it's kind of like sitting in your vehicle in park and revving the engine really high you need a load 
on your engine on your chainsaw just like you do in the engine of your car if there's no load on it it's just revving like crazy and that's when things get really hot and blow up so again make sure your chain is always sharp and that it's actually biting into the wood when you're cutting not just smoking like crazy so this is what I think happened to this saw because nobody mentioned it was run with straight gas and I don't think he did either. So again, I'll just uh, basically write this one off as being a run with a dull chain. Also, it's probably not worth fixing if you bring it to a shop. Definitely not if you bring it to a shop. Even if you do it yourself, it's still questionable because the parts are so expensive to do it properly. You could try an aftermarket kit if you can find a good one, but if you gotta start buying OEM parts from steel, it will pretty well not be worth it even if you do it yourself. Thanks again for watching guys, have a great day.